What is PIP? What is it used for? Why is it sometimes reserved? Well, PIP is a Kentucky issue. This is just part of Kentucky insurance law. So if you're in Tennessee or another state, then this doesn't apply to you. But if you're in Kentucky, then PIP stands for personal injury protection. It's the part of the Kentucky law that you've heard called no fault. You've heard that Kentucky has no fault insurance. Well, this is the part that is no fault. PIP, again, stands for personal injury protection. And what it does is it applies to the occupants of a vehicle that are in a wreck, in a collision, and it doesn't matter whose fault or who caused the accident. So if you're in a car and the other car caused an accident, you don't worry about the other car when you're looking for the benefits to pay your medical bills and lost wages and a few other things at the time of the accident. So the way it works is if you're in an accident, then you need to find out about the insurance for the car that you're in. And if it's a Kentucky insurance policy and a Kentucky wreck, then that policy will provide, must provide personal injury protection up to $10,000 minimum to cover medical bills and lost wages and a few other things we call replacement services. So if you're, if you're a little bit concerned about what's covered and not covered, talk to your lawyer and they can go through that. But basically medical bills, lost wages generally up to $200 a week, and sometimes some policies will have more than that. So what is it used for? Personal injury protection up to $10,000 medical bills, lost wages. Next question, why is that sometimes reserved? Well, let's say you have health insurance to cover medical bills, and then you have personal injury protection of $10,000 that covers both medical bills and lost wages, and you're out of work and you think you're gonna be out of work for a long time. Well, you've got, you've got health insurance to cover your medical bills, so why would we want to let your no fault, your, your PIP, that 10,000, Go for, for medical bills because once it's gone for medical bills, we can't get your lost wages. So here's a typical situation. You're in a bad wreck. You go to the emergency room. They hospitalize you overnight. That first night hospital bill might be ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. If that hospital bill gets to, to the, the PIP, the no-fault carrier, excuse me, <clears throat> gets to the no-fault carrier before we reserve those no-fault benefits, then all that $10,000 is going to get paid to the hospital and we can't get it back, then there's no money to pay for your lost wages while you're off work. Well, think if we reserve that. Tell your carrier, the no-fault carrier, not to pay it because we're going to turn that hospital bill into your health insurance. You've got that coverage. Now you need it. Let the health insurance pay. And then that $10,000 is there for as long as you're off work up to $200 a week. So there are situations where it's important for us to reserve your PIP. Again, we call PIP and no-fault the same thing. They mean the same thing because you have another way to get your medical bills paid, or maybe we just need to reserve it so as long as you're off work, you have that $200 a week coming in, and we'll deal with your medical bills at the end of the case. So if you're concerned about that, talk to your lawyer. They'll explain why we're doing that. Thank you.